Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got the achievement, The Lion That Roared, as Haile Selassie, um, playing as Ethiopia of course. And for this achievement, you need to force Italy to um, sign peace with you as Ethiopia. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to select my divisions in the Southern Army, uh, give them a general and everything, assign them to Field Marshal order. We don't have Field Marshal yet, but we'll also get the Northern Divisions assigned to another general, assigned to the same Field Marshal order. The guy in the south, we're going to have all five of his divisions do a fallback line at Harar, and just try to have them basically be in those river and uh, mountain provinces so that they have the best defense. I'm going to have the northern divisions be set up on a fallback line on Gondar uh, all the way to the border with Ayusa and you will have to make sure that you're ready to invade, well not invade, but protect the uh, area around Ayusa whenever Italy is in there. And for research, we're just going to do research speed and basic machine tools to up our production of guns. The Just to sign a front line in the north. And our first focus, of course, was the second Italo-Ethiopian War. And we're going to do our second focus with Rally Around the Emperor. And we're going to try to just get the Mesophant to be as powerful as possible, since they give us a lot of bonuses. And that includes taking the events and the uh, political power decisions and the balance of power just to uh, boost that. And some of the events are actually pretty good. They give you factories. Um, I think there was one earlier that showed on screen that gave us an extra division. And all the extra divisions we're getting, we're going to send to the south. And our next division, not next division, our next focus will be falling back. And I just went ahead and requested permission to set up a government in exile in the UK, just in case. But I don't think you would get the achievement if that happens, so it's kind of redundant for this achievement. But it's, uh, you know, just something to do. And, of course, if the Italians start doing a forced offensive, you should probably do the last stand in response. But that won't always be necessary as your defense in the mountains is going to be pretty good. Your next focus will be the defense of Addis Ababa. You could really do either one, as uh, the Italians shouldn't be getting super close. We'll hire the infantry specialist as well to boost our defense, and now it's time to do the lessons of war, which gives us even more defense. And then we hire the army defense expert for another plus 5%. Make, make sure to give your generals uh, those infantry expert traits, just because that will help later whenever you're pushing back against the Italians. And our next focus will be the Emperor stays, then the line stands firm, and then the heroes of Ethiopia and the volunteers. And you should hire the army regrouping expert. And by the time you're taking the heroes of Ethiopia, also hire the entrenchment expert. It should be pretty easy to uh, hold on to your territory. Uh, just in general. You might lose a couple of provinces, but that's okay. Just don't let them get too close to the capital. And obviously, you can switch over to war economy and do stuff like that. And you're also going to have this problem with uh, strikes happening all the time, which is going to be a pain. And every time you get an event with the balance of power changing, always do the mess event, uh, at least while you're at war with Italy. If you play after this, that's fine to uh, do the other way. But of course, we're going to assign all of the extra divisions I think we got from volunteers to the southern front because the southern front is definitely our weakest front. And of course, increase Mesophant privileges when you can. And we're going to have the school preserve our focus on attack. Then we'll do keep the chite. And you might be able to do some small offenses to get some encirclements. But just be aware they might not work, you might get pushed back pretty quickly. Like in this case, I did get an encirclement, but I got pushed back. So I was just trying to do that to, you know, weaken the Italians as their supply isn't great, but not pushing 
too far to where their supply would be good. And, uh, I forgot to say this, you should do regional training centers as your next focus, and after that, you want to do mounted chite for uh, some extra divisions, which you get cav and camry divisions. It is pretty nice, just free guns, free men, everything. And make sure to always just, you know, be making sure that the Italians aren't pushing too far, and if they do, just try to push them back in uh, flatter provinces because you'll have an easier time pushing back. But now our next focus will be scavenging tactics. And we're going to assign all three of those new divisions to the southern front. And here I was actually able to get a little bit of an advancement towards the north. But uh, I don't believe that this advancement stayed for very long. But after scavenging tactics to expand the Cabo Sapagana or Zapagana, sorry. You do that focus, and then next, oh yeah, also, uh, war escalation will make it much easier to defend over time. Uh, I'm sure you would have noticed that by this far in the game. But now, you want to do the focus Promote the War Heroes. You also get a division from the focus before Promote the War Heroes. So that's pretty nice. And once you get the uh, bonus survival against all odds, you should be able to start trying to take out uh, the south and trying to secure that whole area or at least try to get some encirclements. I first tried to uh, you know just do a full uh, offensive but I found that I needed to do some encirclements first so that's why you'll see the front line in the south go back and forth a lot and then you want to do regional supply depots and I think after this the national focuses don't necessarily help a whole lot in the actual war. You can do stuff to like, you know, industrialize your country and stuff like that, but um, in the short term with this war, which it'll be about a year left, the national focuses won't really be able to help much. But like I said, we're just going for encirclements in the south, and eventually, whenever I see the opportunity, we will just go straight for the port. And usually that opportunity will be just their divisions being super weak and us being able to uh, just kind of snake around them. And here's the final level of war escalation, which means that the uh, colonies of Italy will be revolting pretty soon. Which also means that we need to finish off the south pretty quickly uh, because both the north and the south will be revolting, so Eritrea and Somalia will be revolting from the Italians. But you should be able, like, if it takes long enough in the south to where uh, Somalia revolts, you should be able to wait out uh, Somalia getting capitulated because usually those revolts only spawn with like one to three divisions, so they're not usually very strong against Italy. But I was lucky and we got a breakthrough towards the port. Uh, it was pretty close though because we got encircled like twice but we didn't lose any divisions in that so and in, in fact we uh, turned that around and got some encirclements off of it. And we did lose the port once again but the encirclements I think were worth it. And plus we were able to just push back to the fort not force the ports once again and this time we were there permanently and uh, obviously just make sure that the Italians don't just like snake around you and you know take all your victory points make sure to deal with any of the divisions that are left back um, behind your main front line around the ports and then you know consolidate and conquer the south And then after you deal with the south, I would recommend leaving about, I don't know, four to six divisions. I think I did four divisions and just leave them in the two ports in the south 
just to make sure that Italy doesn't naval invade you and kind of surprise you. But uh, in my case, uh, Eritrea did revolt before we ended the war, so whenever Eritrea revolted, I just waited for the Italians to deal with it. And with the fall of Eritrea, I just started to push north with my entire army, aside from the ones that were garrisoned in the south, of course. And I would be careful to not push too much with your troops in the sense of you don't want to, you know, keep pushing even whenever you're all red um, in your battles. But our next focus will be a fight, fight, accompli. Basically, is just sending a peace seal to Italy, and they will pretty much always accept whenever you uh, have control of Eritrea and Somalia and plus. Just nice borders. And for the thumbnail, honestly, I was kind of going for multiple achievements in this run, but didn't end up getting them because I accidentally uh, did the wrong thing. But obviously there, got the achievement, the lion that roared. But I did the wrong focus for um, being able to like annex Kenya and stuff to get another achievement. And I also bought uh, the French part of, you know, the Horn of Africa, and that's kind of why the thumbnail looks like what it does. So, if you enjoyed this video, and maybe it helped you, uh, you can leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, because any of those three really helps the channel. I will see you all later, and thank you for watching. And also, if this video gets enough support, I might do another Ethiopia video where I actually uh, play the after war focuses correctly, allowing us to, you know, build a pretty big Ethiopia and get a lot of the Ethiopian achievements in one game. But I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Oh, the